the United States of America has always been a symbol of freedom. The foundation of that freedom has always been democracy. The American people have always had the power to choose who leads them, and one of the principles on which this country was founded was that the federal government should have the consent of the governed. This foundational principle is actually contained in the Declaration of Independence. A recent Rasmussen Report survey found that just 17% of likely U.S. voters think that the federal government today has the consent of the governed. 69% of the people that were polled believe that the government does not have that consent. The remaining 14% were undecided. What is even more amazing is that only 8% of the people polled believe that the average member of Congress listens to his or her constituents more than their party leaders. As Americans, we would like to think that our politicians were working hard for us, but the truth is that most of the politicians you see on television were bought and paid for a long time ago. It is the major corporations that dictate what your politicians vote for and against. We have been tricked into thinking that if the Republicans do something that we don't agree with, then we can just vote the Democrats into power and everything will change, and vice versa. Unfortunately though, the reality is that the two political parties are controlled by the same people at the highest levels. For example, did you know that three of the top seven donors to Barack Obama's campaign in 2008 were major Wall Street banks? How can Obama bring true change when he owes his allegiance to the very bankers that destroyed the housing market? America has gone from being a capitalistic society to one that is pro-business. Capitalism drives competition and benefits the people with more options and lower prices. Instead, we live in a society where businesses are able to avoid competition by buying politicians, acquiring government bailouts, and benefiting from government subsidies. Big business will whine and cry all day long that the government needs to stay out of their business while they spend billions manipulating the decisions of that very same government. There is a revolving door between corporations and the bureaucratic organizations that are supposed to regulate the behavior of those corporations. The people that are supposed to regulate a specific industry cater to the corporations in that industry as they bound back and forth between the public and private sector, getting rich in the process. This is literally like putting a predator in charge of the sheep, and the American people are the sheep. The Declaration of Independence says that governments derive their authority from the consent of the governed. American leaders have power because the American people give them power through the democratic process. Perhaps, the American government does not have the consent of the governed because it is not the politicians who are governing anymore, but rather it is the almighty corporation, or the greedy Wall Street banks whose only priority is to make a profit regardless of how their actions impact society. I truly wonder how long the American government can continue to operate without the consent of the American people.